What's up, people? This is Fossil Fool coming at you from right outside Rock the Bike's new shop here in Oakland, California. First video. That's right. Uh, today we're going to show you how you can take any bike and turn it into a bike blender. Let's bring it inside and tune it up and put a bike blender on it. We're going to take this old rack off and put the the rock the bike rack on. We're gonna take these knobby tires off and put slick tires on. Knobbies are not recommended for bike blending because they make noise when they hit the roller of the bike blender. You have to use this rack because it works really nicely with the bike blender components. They fit over it in a nice way. So now you've got the complete FBU installation kit. Move the rack up and down so the distance from the widest part of your tire to the bottom of the rack is between one and two inches. We just turned the last of the screws in the rack, ready to pull it off the stand. I'm holding in my hand the business part of the Fender Blender Universal. This is the part that goes through your rack and it contains this nice roller that rubs against the tire. This is Rock the Bike stand for stationary pedaling. Slide these blue lock rings in. I like to wow the kids with this at events. <laughs> Give that a yank, come over the top. It lines up with that. <laughs> this part just comes right off. Kind of slide these out. Undo this. And I can literally ride away. Any garage sale, you're probably going to be able to find road-worthy mountain bikes that you can fix up a little bit and you can bring it to your kid's school or to a festival as they take a job that everyone would think can only be done with electricity and actually use their own muscles to achieve the same result. 